Hi everyone, uh, I'm here with uh, another video which is going to be related to uh, migrate Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019. In this video, I'm going to show you a lot more with the server migration. If you guys are planning to upgrade your Windows Server from 2016 to 2019, but unsure where to start. In this comprehensive tutorial, I will guide you through the entire process step by step to ensure a smooth and success, successful transition. Uh, before you go on doing this, you need to make sure that uh, your server is completely backed up. Yeah, there are several kind of a tools, but my recommendation is you can use the Acronis uh, tool for the server backup which is quite helpful and uh, I previously used this uh, Acronis backup but uh, it's up to you which uh, tool is going to be you know flexible for you guys then you can go with that and uh, right now in my screen if you can take a look uh, I have uh, I have installed the Windows Server 2016 this is my main server I am I have a two virtual machines which is you can see over here right now. Uh, here it is Windows Server 2016 and Windows Server 2019. Windows 20, Server 2016 this is my test server. You test server you can say that uh, this is my main machine as well. And if you can go some more with over here this is my 2019 server. So in this server. Uh, I have to migrate my 2016 server to 2019 server. So this is what I'm trying to doing right now. So before we can do that, we need to install the role first onto that server. But uh, I would like to show you something more about that server. What we are going to be planning to migrate this server. We have some, you know, uh, the tips and tricks to do this uh, migration. So what we need to do here, so I'll show you from here right now, if I can go to that uh, server which is 2019 right now, let me click over here and I'll show you from here that if, if you can take a look at 192.168.100.24.3, what that my IP of that server and if you can go to the 2016 server right now. And click on it and you can take a look over here right now uh, 192.168.100.23 so both the servers are under the same network and they are going to be communicating with each other so let me show you very quick over here under the CMD if I can ping this server so here you can see that the ping response is perfect fine no problem about that and let me ping my domain has well so if you can take a look uh, yeah it's fine now so the ping response from my domain side and the IP side is going to be perfect and fine they are going to be communicating with each other so so the next step is going to be install the roles on Windows Server 2019 and then we can go to the migration as well so before letting you know that this process of uh, you know the IP section because you need to do, you need to understand that why this is going to be important. Okay, so let's move to the roles and feature process. We can go to the next, click next, again next. Now you're going to be installed Active Directory domain and services, and then we can add feature. Let me go with the DNS server as well. Okay, and then you can continue. Next, tell next. One more time, next, next, and then we can click restart the destination server automatically if required. You can also check this box as well, and then click yes, and then install. It will take uh, some time to install, depending on the you know uh, specification and the speed of your computer. So. Once it is there, this role is going to be installed, then we can, you know, uh, uh, start the migration. So keep this moving, and then I'll back, uh, get back to you again once this role is going to be installed.
for the time being i'm just uh, pausing this video and then we'll i'll get back to you so i am back again with the with the server and you can see that the server is going to be rebooted and the second thing is going to be our role is also installed which is going to be active directory domain controller now we can click over here and then promote this server okay from here you can see that that checkbox add a domain controller to an existing domain so we can click over here and type credentials over here Over here you can see that uh, there are two checkbox over here, domain name system DNS server and the second one is global catalog. You must need to be check that box because the previous one is already checked one. So we can click over here, uh, so you can click over here and then type the DSMR password, uh, which is we have the previous password we have already set up with the, with the, with the, with the, with our, you know, that main domain which is going to be you know our main server so this is what that our password is we can copy that password and then we can put it over here and then we can click next from here one more time next from here we can check country team server and then we can click next again next one more time next okay now we can click to install all this so once it's gonna be installed then I'll get back to you again with the you know Fismar rolls via uh, PowerShell okay I'm back again so now we can uh, click over here on tools and go to uh, and go to active directory site and services I already have this open over here so we can click over here site on the site there's a default first server name and then server from here we can extend all for the them and then we can for the time we're going to go this one because this is going to be previously installed okay so from here I can right click on it and then we can hit this one click OK and then you can right click on it all tasks check replication topology click OK same goes from that one okay now we can move to the windows server 2016 and do the get same from there as well under all tasks get replication topology click ok refresh and then we can right click over here, click replicate now, click OK. From here, all tasks, check replication topology.
click OK. Now refresh your screen. And then right click on it. Let it sit down. Okay, that's it. Now we are going to be moved to PowerShell on Windows Server 2019. Over here, I am on Windows Server 2019. Now we can find out the PowerShell from here. Right click, right click on it, and then you can run it on our from Run as Administrator. Okay, let me send this run so it will start to view it clearly. You can type here cd cd dot cd slash enter plx enter and npd sutil enter close hit enter now we can click connection connection and then we can click enter okay now I can type over here connect to server win dash pr dash 19 okay we want that the name of the server let's take a look at what is the name of our server so it is uh, you know what uh, we need to do make sure that Server 2016. Okay. Where is this one? Okay, we can click here. Okay. Now we can type quit. Okay, now we can type help. Okay, so you can see over here we have a kind of a you know uh, rules over here you know a protocol transfer infrastructure master and transfer naming master and transfer PDC uh, and transfer ID master and transfer schema master we can copy all this and then uh, you know put one by one and hit enter and then we can uh, you know uh, move everything to set up. Let me do it really quick and I already you know uh, make a copy of them and then I help them you can do it one by one Okay, from here now you can simply type uh, quit 
and again type quit. That's it. From here, we are going to be done from this part. And uh, uh, let me minimize this as well. And I'm going to be show you what is going to be very important. Uh, if you can take a look over here uh, in our 2019 server, we can go to Active Directory User Computer. So we need to be verify that our uh, user is going to be successfully moved over here or not. So if you can take a look over here in the HROU, we have a two users, right? That's fine. Then uh, in IP, we have a Peter Steven has that. So let me take a look over here in 2016 as well. So to make sure that everything is going to be perfect and fine. Yeah, they are over here. And now after that, you know, uh, step up some uh, rules and uh, the migration process is going to be successfully installed on 2019. And uh, this that works for us. And uh, this is what it is. And uh, after that, one more thing is going to be really important. If you think that uh, everything is going to be successfully moved to 2019, then you need to be uh, demote that server. From here, you can click over here. And uh, after that, remove role. And click next. I'm not going to be do this right now. I'm just explaining you how you can do that. You can click over here and uncheck this box. And same goes for the DNS server. It will take some time to, you know, uh, depending on the depending on the speed of your computer or your server. Right now, I'm using the two virtual machine or one single machine. That's why it will take some time to do the so. So this this is all the process right now over here. Uh, it will take some time to be blank. It's more no more. Okay. Uh, you, you need to what to do here is to you know uh, demote that server, which is going to be your old server. So make sure that everything is going to be successfully move, and then after that, you can remove that server. So. This is all about the migration process. If you have any kind of a question and uh, related to things to the migration, you can get back to me. And I'm happy to assist you with all this. Uh, thank you very much. And thank you very much for your time and uh, uh, your support. Thank you. Bye-bye.